Well, the pillow was the, was the interesting part, that carving a pillow because of the way it would wrinkle, but it needs something to make it wrinkle. It doesn't wrinkle all by itself. And there was an advertisement in a magazine like Time or Newsweek for a, a, a car. And uh, the point they were trying to make in the ad is obviously this car is very valuable and you should protect it. So in this particular picture, there was a post in this guy's middle of this guy's garage. And he had the post wrapped with pillows. And so I just began to think about, you know, how interesting it is when you mush a pillow in. And because, you know, I, I've been around furniture, <laughs> Of course, I thought of furniture. Gradually, I came to realize, don't design the furniture, just borrow it from history books or whatever, but you have done something to it, to change it. And in a sense, I was right, that that fit the art mold, because there's a long history of trompe l'oeil work and had been around for centuries. And the trompe l'oeil work had always been considered fine art. So in, in a sense, I had figured out something that was correct. And in the end, I decided the pillow should be uh, the important part and the chair should be a very minimal chair. <laughs>